mine ta- my experience was like like she was telling a story because she was putting out the tiles of the names of the songs like she put them in big screams so everybody can see it and like all of her dancers were like they look like they were telling a story too they were moved the same time as taylor and they were moved at the same time and mostly i had like a lot of the her songs that i like were my favorite like i started to dance and sing at the same time but i dance on my seat because if i dance on <laughs> if i dance out i was about to i was about to dance out of my chair but i decided not to we went during like i think a week after my birthday or before i think it was before my birthday me and um my friend ashley and She's later going to share. I am going to put her um experience too from Zoom that she posted that she, we did the interview together. So we are going to, I am going to put hers too. So I'm going to put it together. So it's going to be part one and part two <laughs> together. So it's going to be great. Okay. This is the first time I do that. Okay. <laughs> because I never do this before my whole life. So, yes, my experience was the best thing ever. I was, like, the whole time, I was emo- feeling and feeling like I felt like Taylor Swift was going to be the person I should have done for um, pop culture because she's always telling a story when it comes to her music. And, um, and with her songs, like, she has people who are falling in love who who are in different um parts like in so in I think it's in try to remember hold on in um acting there is scenes so he she has different scenes when it comes to her music videos and also when it comes to her um songs so that's what she does all the time. And that's what I felt like the whole time when I was watching the Eras tour. And my favorite songs are... My favorite songs from the Eras tour is... One of my favorite songs is You Are a Kid. Because that song was playing all the time on my graduation time. And... Mostly, I had another experience of post grad life than a lot of people did have, and during graduation too, and a lot of people from college, and that is so true. So yeah, and I did had um tears. Um, like I was having sad tears, like out of nowhere. My tears came out of nowhere. I thought they were not going to come. And I had a bad time during um, when Anti-Hero came. So I'm not going to say what happened because I'm not ready to say it. But yes, when Anti-Hero came, release, every time I remember that time, and it makes me cry. So... And Antihero is one of the songs that I heard on, on the Ares Tour concert movie. And it made me cry. So, yeah. And I wanted to say happy birthday to Taylor Swift. And I'm a Swiftie for this year. <laughs> I can't believe that. And I did get a merch. I did cut a cup too, but I don't have it with me right now. So... I've been showing it a lot, so I can't be showing it a lot because I've been showing it a lot too much. So yeah, and and I had a great time. Um, I actually sing aloud, which I'm not good at singing. <laughs> and I did sing "Shake It Off" like super loud, which it was crazy. And then we saw these two girls dancing too, and they had a great time. They looked like they had a great time. And it showed, like, the fans, too, like, how they had a fun time. Like, we had, and everybody in the fans had a great time. 
And then the show also, I think it was, I forgot her name, but it's, um, so it's Kobe's daughter. She actually got the hat from Taylor. So Taylor gave her a hat and she did that, um, flavor because, um, Kobe did that favor to give her a shirt and she, he did this, she did the same thing to her daughter, his daughter. And also, um, and it showed the last, I think it was the last tour that she had in the USA. And mostly what's special about this concert is that it was the first concert, um, before, I think after COVID. So that's why everybody tried to come on. And then it was like, to me, it was like the best experience because, to me, I couldn't afford tickets for the Eras concert. And I heard it was sold out too. So that's the reason why I decided to go for the movie. Because it was more cheaper. And and I love that old music. Like Into the Woods is one of my favorites too. So like Taylor Swift old music is my favorite. <laughs> Just to be honest. Like, like my favorite album is Speak Now. Taylor version. That's my favorite album from Taylor. So yeah. Alright. And that's going to say happy birthday Taylor. <laughs> Alright. And that's it for everything entertainment. I forgot to mention. Also um, we went to the one that had all like the lyrics. So like it wasn't even hard to sing the songs. <laughs> so it was more easier to sing the songs because it was like the lyrics was on screen. And it was more easier. At first it bothered me, but at their then and their then it was like it was okay because like I'm not good at uh, I'm not good at like, singing the lyrics after because like and then I glad I had it because like it was easier for me to read and sing at the same time. All her Taylor songs. All right, and that's it. <laughs> All right. And Ashley's gonna show her experience. It's gonna tell her experience. On Zoom, so I put that in there too, and this is gonna be on TikTok and on E E N podcast Instagram. Okay, so my experience um, when I went to go see the Taylor Swift concert, um, it was actually really fun. Um, it was like a feel good, pretty much kind of experience, like. I felt like I was actually there in the um, the movie theater or like at the venue with her, you know, like at the actual concert with the other fans. Um, I used to listen to Taylor Swift like a long time ago, but um, like some reason, like I just, you know, got out of her music for some reason. And I started listening to like K-pop, you know, like I'm, list I'm a big K-pop fan, so. I listened to um, like BTS, Twice, um, Etsy, Blackpink, Stray Kids, pretty much. You guys know all the K-pop uh, groups out there. So um, I still listen to them, but um, eventually like after I got um, home from seeing the Taylor Swift concert, I was like, oh my God, like, am I actually a Swifty or something? Because, you know, I've noticed, like, back in the day, like, I think maybe 2000, uh, like, maybe 19 or 20, um, I noticed that I would use, like, Taylor Swift's um, sounds and stuff on TikTok. And um, honestly, like, I, I actually have my own playlist now on, on, uh, on YouTube for Taylor Swift. My... Um, all time favorite song from her is that I gotta listen to every day is is like three songs. I have to listen to Lavender Haze, Tolerate It, and uh The One. And also um there was this other song that I listen to all the time. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember at the top of my brain. Um let me see, I think. I'm trying to remember. Oh, ready for it. That one. That's that's another song that I like to listen to. Is ready for it. So um, yeah, pretty much I just like um, 
just put our music on, just start singing into it. So, yeah, my experience um, was good. Um, like, honestly, like most of the songs that I had listened to and heard at the um, movie theater, uh, like, you know, just makes you want to get up and dance because it's like, oh my God, like this is like the throwback song. Like I heard this a long time ago and it just brings back so many memories because um, this is like the third um artist that I've seen um, a concert experience because I saw One Direction first and then I saw BTS and then um, Taylor Swift was the last one. So I saw the Taylor Swift one uh I think it was in October. It was either October or November, one of those two months. But um, it was a really good, feel good movie. So. And like mostly, like I like it that she was there showing her, all her fans. Too. <laughs> Sorry, my. Yeah. The baby's yeah. changing. Good. You're not uh -huh. supposed to be doing that. You can't be on the chain table. I don't want her getting sick. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so that that's pretty much my experience with the movie theater. Um, I think my baby, because I'm pregnant right now, I'm like due this month. I think she might end up being a Swifty because when the music, every time she would um like sing her music, um she would like start jumping around and roll and kicking. I feel like she's going to be like that type of baby that's going to be like just growing up to dance, you know, because I have a passion of dance to myself. So I'm going to make her take ballet classes for sure. And on gymnastics also. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Girls, you are you loving it so far? <laughs> yep. But yeah. Anyways, but yeah, it's like I think I remember like you were saying like her she was like all dancing or jumping around when you when she heard Taylor. Yeah, like when certain of the songs came on the screen, I was like, Oh my god, I haven't heard this song in years. And then um I guess my energy, like it just hyped her up, you know, she just wanted to like start kicking and like flipping around, but yeah. She she understands my energy. Like, if I'm happy, she'll be happy. Or if I'm sad, she'll be emotional. And she'll start kicking me and telling me to stop being sad. So she she pretty much understands my emotions. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I think she's, like, one of the baby fans. So <laughs> she's <a> yeah. <laughs> so she, she's going to be one of the baby fans who, for Taylor. She's going to be a baby Swifty. Uh-huh. Else. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. for mine, I put I put for her, I have her a lot in my playlist, and she was actually my number one in Spotify. Most oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mine. I'm pretty sure I don't I don't even know who mine is because I listen to a lot of different artists, so I'll be surprised if Taylor is like number one on mine's. Yeah, my most surprisingly because mostly always is for every year is Sierra and now is Taylor. <laughs> yeah, cause she, I think she just got named the top artist or something because they're talking about that on the news. I saw it today. I'm like, oh wow. Yeah, in Times Magazine. Yep. I put it right now too because I forgot. I didn't put the, it until so it just came up, so that's why I put it in there right now. Okay. All right. So I'll leave it there so that way you can hopefully it record it. <laughs> yes, hope so. I stop it.